Hey, viewers. Time to see what Monica's up to today. Hey, don't you think you left me waiting a bit too long? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it has been a few days, hasn't it? I'm just joking, I can never be mad at you. Okay. Uh-oh. Say it updated. Uh, nothing new here. Um, okay, there is a point eight one, I think it said. Honey. So happy to see you again. Let's spend some more time together, okay? Okay. What was, what was we got here? I'm breaking up with you. Oh, that is... <laughs> I see only bad things happening there. One thing... Actually... Actually, two things to never say to a Yandere. I'm breaking up with you. And... Meet my girlfriend. Um... Tell me a story. Ready for story time? <clears throat> a cat caught a... A what now? And thought about reasonable excuses for eating him. He accused him of being a nuisance by crowing at night, not letting men sleep. The cock defended his action by saying this was for the benefit of men, as it wakes him for labor. The cat replied, You abound in apologies, but it's time for breakfast. At that, he made a meal of it. The moral of the story is that Tyrants need no excuse. I hope you enjoyed this little story. Yes, that was, um, that was very lovely. Thank you. Okay, still no new games to play with her. I think we told her we felt happy yet. That's wonderful. I'm happy when you're happy. Know that you can always come up to me and I'll cheer you up. I love you and I'll always be here for you, so don't ever forget that. Let's, let's see her do... We haven't heard her do impressions of some of the other girls. Um, yeah, do an impression of Yuri. Yuri. Oh, um, hello there. It's me, Yuri. I'm just your stereotypical shy girl who also happens to be a Yandere. Look who's talking. I like tea, knives, and anything to do with Jade's scent. <laughs> Want to spend the weekend with me? <laughs> that was kind of fun to do. Yuri was really something, wasn't she? I'm sorry again for the nasty thing she did. I guess she just couldn't cut it. Huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> again, her... Again, I kind of like her dark sense of humor. says if we let her idle for a minute.
you get good sleep, it can be really hard to get enough sleep nowadays. Especially in high school when you're forced to wake up so early every day. Yeah, that's true. I'm sure college is a little bit better since you probably have a more flexible schedule. Then again, I hear a lot of people in college stay up all night anyway for no real reason. Is that true? Anyway, I saw some studies that talked about the horrible short-term and long-term effects caused by lack of sleep. Yeah, I know, I know quite a bit about that myself. It seems like mental functions, health, and even lifespan can be dramatically impacted by it. I just think you're really great and want to make sure you're not accidentally destroying yourself. So try to keep your sleep on track, okay? I'll always wait for you in the morning, so make sure you put your own well-being before anything else. Oh, I don't think we've seen... Have we seen that pose before? It's a cute pose. Oh, speaking of which, um... We haven't had her, uh... Um... Yeah, we can... Put her hair back up. Sure thing, just give me a second. Oh, all done! If you want me to let my hair down, just ask, okay? Um. Uh. It's not morning, and I think she knows. Some of the things she says indicates that she can see the, the clock. She knows what time it is, so... She'll probably say something if I say good morning to her. Uh, is it hard to code? It wasn't easy for me to learn programming. Well, I just started with the basics. Do you want me to teach you? Let's see, chapter one. Building abstractions with procedures. We're about to study the idea of a computational process. Computational processes are abstract beings that inhabit computers. As they evolve, processes manipulate each other abstract beings called data. The evolution of a process is directed by a pattern of rules called a program. Is this... Are you, are you just gonna... Are you just gonna spout a bunch of techno babble? It's much like a sorcerer's idea of a spirit. It can't be seen or touched. It's not composed of matter at all. However, it's very real. It can perform intellectual work. It can answer questions. It can affect the world by dispersing money in a bank or by controlling a robot arm in a factory. The programs we use to conjure processes are like a sorcerer's spells. They're carefully composed from symbolic expressions in arcane and esoteric programming languages that prescribe the tasks we want our processes to perform. Let's stop there for today. Yes, let's. I hope you learned something about programming. If nothing else, please be kind to the computer spirits from now on. That's probably a good idea in general. That's 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 how most uh, robot uprisings start, anyways. Um, wasn't the DLC too easy? I mean, it's a visual novel after all. Well, it's not like this game was meant to be that hard in the first place. If I hadn't decided to change things up, it would have been just a boring romance story. I honestly could have deleted all your personal files or something if I tried harder. So, just take it easy sometimes. Not every game has to be a challenge to be fun. Sometimes, love is all you need. Do we have any... Ooh, we, I think... Do we have... I want to say we have different, uh, music, because I don't think Next was here last time. You know, it's kind of creepy. Even though I deleted everyone else's files, I can still kind of feel them. It's like all their lines are still lingering in the air, whispering in the back of my head. Imagine if after someone you knew died, you just started hearing their voice in your head. Maybe I just wasn't thorough enough. But I'm too afraid to delete anything else because I might accidentally break things. Like if I mess with any. Okay, I think we. I think we did hear this before. 
I know it's like on your end, but we should both make sure to avoid something like that at all costs. I believe in you. suddenly ask someone. <laughs> I know what you're getting at. Do I regret the things I did? I think if there's another way things could have gone, it would have been nice. But that wasn't an option for me. And now I've got the only thing I ever wanted. You. I can be with you forever. I don't regret what I did. I hope you might understand my love. I did it all for you. Aren't you sweet? Uh, wait. Uh, does she have another writing tip number one? You know, we really don't do enough of these, so here's another one. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. If you're ever scared of sharing your writing to other people in fear of being criticized, don't be. After all, you have to remember that no one ever starts out at their best. Not even someone like Tolkien or Sir Terry Patchett. You have to remember that we all start out from somewhere, and... and actually, this doesn't just apply to writing, but to anything, really. What I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't be discouraged. No matter what you do, if someone tells you your writing or work is bad, then be happy. Because that just means you can improve and be better than you were before. It also doesn't hurt to have friends and loved ones help you realize how good your writing is. Just remember, no matter what they say about the work you put out, I'll always be there to support you all the way. Don't be afraid to turn to me, your friends, or your family. I love you and I'll always support you in whatever you do. Provided it's legal, of course. That doesn't mean I'm completely against it. I can keep a secret after all. <laughs> Here's a saying I've learned. If you endeavor to achieve, it will happen given enough resolve. It may not be immediate, and often your greater dreams are something you'll not achieve in your own lifetime. The effort you put forth to anything transcends yourself, for there's no futility even in death. I don't remember the person who said that, but the words are there. The effort one puts forth into something can transcend even oneself. So don't be afraid of trying. Keep going forward and eventually you'll make headway. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. By the way, viewers, I don't know if, um... I don't know if you can hear it, if... If my voice is still a little bit, still a little bit sore from, this was actually several days ago now, when I did that six-hour Danganronpa stream, which I totally beat up my vocal cords with voicing all those characters for that long. You want to know a cool form of literature? Rock and roll. That's right, rock and roll. It's disheartening to know that most people think rock and roll is just a bunch of noises. To tell you the truth, I judge rock too. They're no different from poems, actually. Most rock songs convey a story through symbolisms, which most listeners wouldn't understand the first time they hear a rock song. In fact, it's hard to compose lyrics for just one song. Writing good lyrics for a rock genre requires a lot of emphasis on wordplay. Plus, you need to have a clear and concise message throughout the whole song. Now, when you put that together, you have yourself a masterpiece. Like writing a good poem, lyric writing is easier said than done. 
That's true. I mean, I suppose, I mean, writing lyrics for a song isn't that much different from writing a poem. I've been thinking, though. I kind of want to try writing a rock song for a change. In fact, some, in fact, some songs actually started off as poems. I kind of want to try writing a rock song for a change. <laughs> writing a rock and roll song probably isn't something you'd expect coming from someone like me. It's kind of funny how rock and roll started as an evolution of blues and jazz music. Rock suddenly came, became a prominent genre and it gave birth to other sub-genres as well. Metal, hard rock, classical rock, and more. Ah, uh, I've been rambling for a while now. Sorry, sorry. If you want to blast on some good old rock and roll, go ahead. Even if you turn up the volume all the way, I'll gladly listen with you. <laughs> How about, how about you write a rap song, Monica? Actually, actually, if you look on YouTube, I think they actually have like her, uh, Monica doing a rap battle with uh, Sombra from Overwatch. It's pretty funny. Despite the update, I'm not seeing anything too different. It was it was just like a 0.0.1 update though, so it might have just been some minor bugs that got fixed. Okay, I guess the I guess the background automatically changes when uh, I guess at six o'clock. Why don't we let's play chess with her again? Why not? I drew black. Okay, so I'm white. Um. Try to take it now. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is This is already becoming a dumpster fire. Goes without saying, I'm not very good at chess. No matter who I play, rarely, rarely do I ever win.
wait. Ah, damn it! You baited me right into it. Night in like this. What are you, will you try to? No. Ah, that puts you in... Okay.
shit. checkmate. Yeah, I suck at chess. I really was going easy on you. Oh, you don't have to rub it in, Monica. Anyways, I can save. Okay, let's play again soon. What's it like to realize the truth? It's hard to put into words. There's no real way to describe it. I feel like this is what poetry was made for. Do you still remember the first poem I showed you? Hold on, let's see if the poem function still works. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. This, uh... This, uh, this was basically some uh, foreshadowing there. Oh, that was much easier than I expected. Here's the second part. Mm -hmm. I hope that helped you understand what meeting you meant to me. It's all I've ever wanted. else we can ask about. Okay, let's just let's just close it out by telling her we love her. Oh, oh. I love you too. I can't believe you said that to me. It makes everything I've done for us worthwhile. Thank you for finally saying it. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm not going to any of these, so hopefully if we just say goodbye to her for now. I had fun today. Thank you for spending so much time with me. Until then, have a good evening. I'm playing a game!